Welcome to Solar Bar Keep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in lovely League C, Texas. So, recently uh, posted a uh, review of the Pathfinder. Huge success. Lots of people watching it. But I did also get a lot of comments because I drank it straight as a digestif, which I like that with an Amaro style. And, and this was great, just straight up digestif. But I mentioned in the in the video that I was going to try some, some mixed drinks and immediately got emails and comments wanting me to post any kind of mixed drinks that I come up with this. So here's one. Uh, I'll, I'll be posting more later on, but I wanted to do this one pretty quickly because I did get a lot of re requests and responses saying, hey, what are you doing with this thing from, from mixing with it? Now, I'm not the greatest mixologist in the world. I'm not going to pretend I am. I try to keep it simple. There's a lot of people mixing with this. Watch out on the the, uh, the Facebook pages because there's a lot of people doing some really creative stuff with this. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so uh, occasionally I listen. My wife would disagree, but I do occasionally listen. And um, so I thought I would uh, give this one a shot. Uh, so the Manhattan is one of the older cocktails out there, created in the 1870s. Um, and it's been around for a long, long time. It's uh, typically whiskey uh, with sweet vermouth and then either uh, Angostura bitters or a combination of Angostura and orange bitters uh, mixed together and, uh, and drank straight up. Uh, and it's an old cocktail classic, been around. It's a staple of all the bars. Now, 2007, a uh, young man in, in San Francisco, um, uh, Chris Jones, I believe was his name, um, Todd, Todd Smith, Chris Jones, Todd Smith. Todd Smith. That's the reason I keep notes down here. Todd Smith in San Francisco in 2007, created a version of the Manhattan called the Black Manhattan. And what he did was he substituted a Morrow for the Sweet Ruth. Because a, um, a Manhattan typically is a little bit of a sweeter tasting uh, cocktail. He also used rye whiskey, which I'm going to substitute a little bit for that because I don't have any good rye in a whiskeys. Uh, but, so I've been playing around with this a little bit. But what he did is he sub substituted the, uh, the Amaro for the sweet vermouth and ended up with something a little more complex, a little more bitter, uh, uh, a little more uh, not as sweet, which to me, I, I, I'm not a big sweet drink fan, just not a huge fan of sweet, uh, sweet mixed drinks. Uh, you know, I can appreciate them and I will drink uh, occasionally, uh, but I like them a little more complex. So um, I, I found his recipe and um, and decided to play with it a little bit, see what I could do as it, with it in a version of the Black Manhattan. And so that's what we're going to try here uh, today. So uh, the Black Manhattan, has, just like a Manhattan, has two, two parts of uh, rye whiskey. In this case, we're going to use the Free Spirit Spirit of Bourbon. Uh, I've played with this. I like it. There's, I've tried almost every version of bourbon that I've got. I like them all. But I kind of settled on this one. This is kind of my preference, my personal taste for this particular drink. I'm going to use one part of the Amaro. And I'm almost out of this. Uh, I'm getting more of them. All right, so we'll do that now. Um, you can do two Angostura bitters or one part Angostura and one part orange. I like that. I tried it both ways. So what we're going to do is we're going to do all the bitter. Uh, we're going to do their aromatics, which is their version of Angostura. We're going to do one dash of that. And then we're going to do one dash of the, all the bitter orange. Bitters. Man, I tell you, a couple of game changing products here on this particular episode. These guys, I, I loved all the bitter. And, uh, and this, as I mentioned before, is just absolutely incredible. So, now this is a stirred, it's not shaken. Um, it's the way they did it, so it's the way I'm doing it as well. It's a little, little bit more gentle. You don't get quite as much of the, uh, um, of the water from the ice that dissolves. Then we're gonna pour it into a classic cocktail coupe. And there you go, beautiful drink. It's the Black Manhattan. Smells great, oh man, it smells so good. And a taste of this with the bitters, the bitter quality of this, the bitters of this. You know, not in a bitter in a bad way. The complexity and, and the heat coming off of this, this just makes for a great, great sipping drink. I've made multiples of these playing around with this recipe. And I will sit and sip on this for a while because you just get a sip, you, you appreciate it. The complexities of all all of these, four of these products to come out. And it's pretty simple. It's just got four, four products in it. 
Uh, pretty easy to make, but man, it's a great evening sipping cocktail. Sober Barkey. Live well and drink smart.